Hey everyone, welcome back to Battle of the Beer, the show where we take two beers and put them head to head. Uh, we're back after a little bit of a hiatus, but uh, let's just get right into it. Jason, what did you bring for me today? All right, sir. Today, well, we should say our theme. Today uh, we are tasting, since it is uh, October, we thought it'd be good to go with, uh, you know, some, we originally thought maybe like Harvest, but oddly enough, we both went with uh, Pumpkin Ales. So I have selected from a uh, new Belgian brew, Belgium brewing out of Fort Collins, Colorado. This is their Pump Kick. pick great beer on the show we've never picked bad <laughs> beer so i have no reason to believe that this will not uh i don't know about will that not be good so let's crack it open here i will use a glass from your side of the table sir i was wondering how you were going to do that i did notice there is a little bit of sediment in the bottom of this one so we'll just make sure not to get too much of that i mean i wonder if that's natural like if that always is the case i wonder if it's from like the pumpkin does that happen a lot with um any pumpkin ale where they use like well, the pumpkin pie or the pumpkin i suppose but i mean it, it, it could just be too if it's a you know if it's a filtered or a non-filtered oh, yeah, you know, that's style true. so that's a good point a lot more of your craft beers i think you get a little more of that but you know it is what it is teach its own i actually do get a little hint of pumpkin off from that not strong but it's there behind the beer a little bit for me just barely it's not like pumpkin pie or anything but uh, i definitely get a little bit of it the popular pumpkin style seem to use like nutmeg cinnamon yeah. um in my head i just want to say coriander but that's just because that's a similar use. fun that's, to say that's, that's like a, Ooh. more for like a peppery or a style or citrus so i do i do get that hint of pumpkin as well, right off, barely off in the there. nose. That's actually quite nice. Mm. It's got a um, mildly carbonated mouthfeel, I'd say. It's mm -hmm. not too heavy. It sits kind of in the middle. It's not super light, but it's not thick and syrupy. Mm. The appearance when you poured it, it's not like it had a huge head on it or anything. But no, from something no. like this, I don't need a huge head on it. Um, yeah, I didn't quite quite catch a sort of six percent alcohol by volume. Oh, okay. So not that head has anything to do with that necessarily, but yeah, I don't. I mean, that's not super high or anything, but it doesn't have a boozy taste to it or anything. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's. I actually kind of like it. Yeah, and it has what you'd expect from a a pumpkin ale. Well, you know, your a goldish amber. Yeah, color. I do see you, know, you got a little bit of Yeah, the there is some sentiment going in there, but, I mean... It's not nearly that bad. When you've homebrewed as long as I have, you're <laughs> yeah, familiar with Yeah, that doesn't bother you. No. Well, it's not too bad in there. Yeah, I, I agree with you on the, the mouthfeel. Um, and you do... The pumpkin isn't very... It's like a subtle pumpkin flavor. I get a little more of the the spicing, mm -hmm. I think, especially on... On the back end of it? Yeah, I would say that this is more less pumpkin and more like spice, harvest spice. Yeah, yeah, and I, 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 I don't know if that's a trend, but I detect that a lot more with the pumpkin styles I've had. Mm -hmm. It's less emphasis on the pumpkin taste, but more of the things that you kind of associate kind of around with that, with yeah. your like your cinnamons and your nut. You get more of the, the spicing notes, and the pumpkin's really just a very subtle flavoring. Yeah. Now, unless you go like I'd say like Dogfish Head. Uh, they're punk. Is it just pumpkin? Pale. Pumpkin that's very nine. that. That tastes like liquid pumpkin pie to me. So. Oh really? I mean, it depends on what you're. So that's for, super but. sweet, then you would say. Well, yeah, yeah, more sweet, not so much on the spice side. Yeah, this is kind of a dry spice. It's not like overly. It's not overly dry or anything, but it's just not sickly sweet either. Yeah. It's not like drinking pumpkin pie. It's got hints of the ingredients of pumpkin pie in it. I would right, say. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I, I enjoy it. It's um, I've only had from New Belgium. I've only had like you know uh, Fat Tire is one of the more popular ones, and I've had uh, I believe it's Snowdrift. It's a porter mm, they do. Okay. So I've only had a few. Oh, and the Ranger IPA. But I I like this. I would buy this. I'd buy this again. I think. Cool. Well, I'm gonna start writing down my scores for this one, and then uh, I'll. Yeah, we'll score. We'll that. score this one real quick, and then we'll get on with the next beer. Cool. 
All right, so we have scored the pump kick, and now Lucas, please enlighten me. What have you brought for us to enjoy today? Yeah, well, um, I brought Griffin Claw's uh, Screaming Pumpkin Ale. And that is, um, actually, I think this is the first can that we've ever had on the show. Uh, yeah, because I think, well, I can't remember if we ever did cans on the podcast. I don't think so. I think we've always done bottled, maybe one, but yeah, I, at least for the video, this is the first can we've ever done, so hey, why not? Yeah, makes it easier for me, because now <laughs> I just watch, I'm going to be... I can't get it open. Why did I clip my nails this morning? So yeah, this is from the Griffin Claw Brewing Company in Birmingham, Michigan. And I think we featured, at least I know on the radio or on the podcast, a Griffin Claw yes. beer one time. Yeah. Um, but they might be quickly becoming my favorite brewery and I wanted to try their seasonal beer. So okay. I figure what better time than now? You just like the name because it reminds you of Harry Potter, doesn't it? I do. Griffin Claw is the name of my house. I'm dripping. Oh no. Wow. As I know you like your beer got in dish of, format. Got a bit of a head on it. <laughs> yeah. Never trust a beer without a head, they say. Well, it's definitely got some carbonation. I mean, that thing is active. Now, I wonder if that is the difference you get between a can and a bottle. Because I'm not personally familiar, but is it? Do you get? Can you get more carbonation from a can versus yeah, a bottle? Yeah, I, I don't know. know. I mean, I know with like soda, I definitely. Um, prefer a glass bottle, which is not very common anymore. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of coming back, but it, I know it affects the taste. Uh, I don't know about the carbonation, though. So, That's a good question. initial aroma, I feel like I, I want to say it's nutmeg, but I might be... <laughs> cause I like saying no, I think nutmeg, you're right. But I, can, I definitely get a spice, a little spice right, notes right off of that initial, um, the initial smell. The mouthfeel is comparable to the pump cake. A um, little more active carbonation-wise, like we noticed yeah. with the visual. Um, but I'd say in texture, drinkability, it still feels similar. very similar. Um, what was the ABV on this mm. one? A five. So, so not pretty, very, very, very close. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't get... I guess I can detect a little pumpkin taste in that, but for me, I guess it's not quite what I would, when I think of pumpkin. This is this taste doesn't match up with that. I think this is even less than the other. One, yeah, as far I as mean, pumpkin it, it, goes, I, I do enjoy the taste, and side by side, they're very similar in color as well. Um, the screaming pumpkin is a little bit uh, orange, thicker, thicker. Oh yeah, I look at say, all the floaties in know? there. But I don't know. Otherwise, I mean, they're very similar. I like the lacing, the texture. I mean. Well, I will tell you that um, according to the can itself, um, on the front it says, uh, ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. And those spices are ginger, allspice, nutmeg, and cloves. And I, I think one of the things that's throwing me off is probably the cloves. I feel like if I taste anything in here that I don't like, I think it's the cloves. It's got a very... I'm trying to tell if I can pull that ginger from anything in there. And I, I feel like I can. Maybe it is the ginger. I, mm. There's something in there that I'm not really a huge fan of. It's To me, it's not sweet at all. It's more... I don't want to say spicy, but it's more mm -hmm. like... Gosh, I don't even know how... It's more like peppery or more... Um, like those spice notes are a little more are more featured in this beer, yeah. while this one has more of a. This reminds you of flavor. pumpkin pie. This reminds me of like. Pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> no, that would be even sweeter. <laughs> no, I like. I don't know. It's just not very sweet. Hmm. And it doesn't have to be sweet, but no, it's just, no. Hmm. I guess that's what I was expecting. So. I think it fits the bill, though, for a uh, you know, fall pumpkin seasonal type beer. I mean, yeah, you know, for if sure. you wanted to have something, it's like, oh, I want to taste autumn. I want uh, like a holiday, you know, a fall holiday ale or something like that. I think this would fit that, that yeah, bill. Yeah, it didn't miss the mark. It's more of my personal preference, maybe. All right. Well, we've tasted it. Let's score it, and we'll be back with our overall results. 
Okay, so we're back after we scored both beers, and uh, let's talk about what we thought about them and give them give them their appropriate scores, shall we? All right. Um, all right. Jason, why don't we start with the um, my screaming pumpkin ale? What'd you think of it? You know, um, these were really like we talked about while we were scoring. These are very like I think our closest to taste profile, style wise, and sim- like very similar to any mm-hmm. of the beers we've ever done here. So my scores, like we had guessed, our scores, my scores at least really do reflect that. Um, so really there was like only one point of difference, at least for my personal scores throughout oh. our rank, our categories for these. So, um, aroma, I, I enjoyed that, you know, it pulled that, that nutmeg, that spice taste right off, you know, my, I could detect that right on the nose, mm-hmm. um, compared to, you know, more of the pumpkin that I got from the pumpkin. Um, mouthfeel, you know, it wasn't, um... I guess I, I, I liked a little bit less carbonation when I'm comparing these two. Um, so I guess, oh, let me actually give you my score. Uh, aroma, I gave a seven. Uh, mm-hmm. Mouthfeel, I gave a six. Um, taste, I gave a six just because, you know, I mean, not to say that, that the six is bad. I mean, I feel like, you know, a beer's got to really wow me up now. You know, I, before when we started this, I think I kinda was a little liberal with my scores. Now <laughs> I'm trying to taper that a little more, okay. be more realistic. And I mean, so beer's going to have to really wow me to get like you know an eight or nine so sure i think you know it's not um not that this is bad i think it's a good it's above i i would say it's above average i like the taste i mean it's like we said it's a pumpkin it's fall it, it captures that that feeling um so an overall satisfaction i gave it a six okay so kind of what i expected um overall i gave it a six and a half i mean it's right you know <laughs> I, I, it, it's right there i mean if i was doing this out of a five like let's say i'm doing this run tapped i'd yeah. probably give it like a three you know? that's that's really funny because um, for me, the appearance was an eight. I thought it looked, you know, it had a little bit more of a head. Um, the aroma was a little more difficult to, to distinguish from that head. I feel like it didn't really open up as well. Mm-hmm. But what I was smelling was, you know, nice. Uh, mouthfeel, I agree with you there. Uh, I would have preferred a little less carbonation. Yeah. Um, it's not overly carbonated, but it's just a touch too much. Yeah, I, I mean, say. even look at the two now, and this one still has... A little, it's, it's still my, it's still a, a lot bit. more active than this one. I so, bet if I you mean, let this just sit open for a little while, it would be okay. That's a, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, taste, this is where I was actually let down quite a bit. Um, I thought it smelled okay, but when I tasted it, again, the clove or whatever, or maybe the ginger, not really a fan. It kind of clashed for me a little bit from okay. what I was expecting. Mm-hmm. So, again, not terrible, but for me, I didn't really appreciate that flavor profile as much um so that was a six and then um my overall satisfaction from the beer was a six just because i just felt like it didn't quite live up uh to what i expected from a pumpkin ale what okay. i wanted personally so overall it's a 6.5 so ah, i am right. in agreement with wow, you when okay. it comes to that okay so like you said not terrible i would still recommend it if you were yeah. looking for something to like maybe you've had a lot of pumpkin ales or seasonal ales, but just for me, lower end of the scale probably won't go to it again for a harvest ale, an October okay. ale. Yeah, I think that's right, right along. So the that same leaves lines. us. That leaves us with the pump kick. The huh? pump kick. Okay, so um, you know, I don't know why I'm smelling it because I'm not going to pull the same aromas, but I mean appearance, aroma, um, in the color, it's what I expected from a beer of this style. Um, I, I wanted, I, I like, I wanted what we got from the Screaming Pumpkin. I wanted more of that spice. Yeah. Like sense out of that. So I was a little disappointed. I only got, you know, like the pumpkin notes. So I gave it a six. Okay. Um, mouthfeel, you know, mouthfeel, it had that same carbonated, excuse me, it had the carbonation level that I was expecting, you know, okay. it's just, you know, it was, it didn't Spot feel, it was, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't thick. It wasn't too thin. It, I mean, it felt drinkable in my mouth i mean it just it's what you would want from a a beer of this type uh taste wise um had just that little more than what we didn't get from the screaming pumpkin you know it had that um the spice i liked how the pumpkin was there and then the spice was on the the spice was on like the back end of more of the taste and it just really it really went together well they really supported one another in the the flavor profile and that's which i enjoyed so i gave that a seven and uh, overall, I gave it a seven as well. So um, it okay. came up to a seven for me. So a little bit, just sure. uh, just a bit higher than the Screaming Pumpkin. Um, 
which I was surprised because I, I didn't I kind of thought going into this I would enjoy the screaming pumpkin more. So I was a little surprised that the pumpkin pumpkin was what I uh, came on on top for me. Yeah, for me, um, you know, the appearance, while not super important, uh, wasn't quite as um, quite as good looking in the glass, if you want to say. Uh, it does its lacing sticks around, which is kind of nice because otherwise mm-hmm. you kind of get that sense it's a flat beer, but. Um, uh, mouthfeel, like you said, it was pretty much spot on for what I was expecting. So I gave that an eight. The taste for me, this, um, you know, it's not too sweet, which I appreciate. Um, it's not so spicy. It's mm-hmm. pretty much spot on for me. Um, while it might not have had all the flavor profiles that I was looking for, um, it definitely wasn't, um, assaulting my senses or anything like that. Okay. So I really appreciated the taste, gave it an eight. My overall satisfaction with it is a seven. Okay. Um, so that leaves me with a 7.5. So it sounds like we're pretty close. Yeah. In here. Yeah. So very close. So yeah. our winner is going to be the pump kick. Um, uh, yeah, I think this is, well, we, we've had closer, closer ones, but I feel like unanimously our scores across the board we're spot on, spot on with, each, with other. each other. So yeah. that, that hasn't happened. So I guess this is one of the style that at least we're both similarly enjoy, I guess, or they're looking yeah. for the same, the same things from. So very interesting. All right. Yeah, I'd say uh, go out and get either of these if you can and try them uh, before October leaves us and uh, see for yourself what you think of the beers. Yeah. I was like, I guess that's where we'll cut. <laughs>